Hi guys, PJ here, and today we finally get to look at Bayonetta on the PC. A game that's been, well, coming for so long that, uh, quite frankly, you can run this on a toaster nowadays. It will run on pretty much any modernish spec PC. You know, it is a very, very good port, or it's just like I say, it's that old, but it's quite simple to run on modern technology. So let's dive straight in and have a look at all the settings and menus and everything that you get with this game. See what options are available. And uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I've got it hooked up to my Xbox One pad. Obviously it switches over seamlessly from mouse keyboard. So there we are, back on mouse, you know, and then back onto controller. Nice and seamless. Right, let's go straight into the menu options. There we go. It says press start. So I'm thinking it's actually designed for an Xbox 360 controller. But then again, it is old, like I was saying. Uh, so what we got options here we go controller vibration on and off okay what else have we got controls mapping yeah it's mapping basically you got a uh, all sorts there look it's quite interesting uh you can't map though can you hang on let's just try something no a default settings hmm. can we not map it doesn't appear to be mappable unless i'm missing something here no, not mappable. That's a shame. Oh well. Okay, so if we go back to keyboard and mouse, let's have a look at that. Sensitivity there for mouse. And then, yes, you can define your keys then. So it's just controller that doesn't appear to be mappable. Very odd. Nice and simple. Straightforward keys as you'd expect. You know, your WSAD there. Gravity reset. Chance attack, taunt. Do you realise there's a taunt key? That's interesting. Yep, quite a few there. Okay, we got camera. Invert your axes. Yep. First person camera inverts. Camera speed and back to default. Sound and settings. Well, we've got volumes for the effects and volume for the music. Yep. Okay volume for the music okay headphone mode on and off okay so I can't see a surround option for that it's just simple stereo and two versions of stereo depending on uh, what sort of speakers they think you may have okay let's go back display settings brightness yeah subtitles on and off okay subtitle language steam settings yep would figure wouldn't it obviously you can override that should you wish yeah uh, what languages have we got then quite oh, not that many i was expecting quite a few we've stopped at italiano there mind you if it's got steam settings i would imagine it catered for any others that are on there voice language english okay two that's fair enough Tutorial on and off, UI on and off, user interface default. Uh, do you wish to apply these settings? Yes, we do. Okay, just turn the subtitles off basically. Graphics, here we go. Let's see what this has got. Okay, monitor output. Obviously, sources if you've got more than one monitor there. I've only got the one plugged in. Resolution, it's immediately defaulted to 3200 by 1800 for myself. Is promising. I think I'll probably end up turning that down a bit. Display mode. No, hang on. Let's have a quick look. What can we go down to? Does it go all the way down to minimum? Is still going. Still going. There we go. One hundred two four by seven six eight is the minimum. No, we don't. Don't don't want to apply that. <laughs> Definitely don't want to apply that. Let's go back. Right, display mode, full screen, borderless, and windowed. Okay, no ultra wide, you're gonna have to do a bit of playing around in the ini file, quite simple to do. But, uh, it, it, the game works fine if you if you stretch it to ultra wide. Your UI isn't quite right, but it's bearable, so uh, it's not difficult. If you've got an ultra wide, I'm pretty sure you've had to modify games in the past to do that, so you know, it's not difficult to do. Right, graphics quality. 
So these are your presets, your low, yeah, that's very low, your medium, eight times MSAA, okay. High, 16 times MSAA, texture filtering there at 16 as well. And custom, oh, there's no ultra then, it's just, okay. So alizing there, let's have a look. That is maximum actually, there's no, no more higher than that. Texture quality. Also, that is being the max. Okay. Texture filtering. Trilinear, bilinear. Yeah. Go back up to the top there. Shadow quality. I would imagine that's high, medium, and low. Yeah. It is. SSAO. We've got none at the moment, but then again, it is running it at 4K. VRAM usage. Well, it doesn't really use any, does it? Looking at that down there, it doesn't use any at all. Let's go for high, might as well. HDR, I did not expect to see HDR implementation. Not on a game that's based so old. That is, that's quite surprising. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've not played the Bayonetta games. Uh, it's not really my sort of scene, these type of games. But they are very popular. And I know this one goes back a very long way. I'm quite surprised at that. It's interesting. However, it's defaulted to on. I haven't got it plugged into HDR display. Rather odd that off we don't want a high dynamic range on a normal monitor okay v-sync yes we definitely want to leave that on and that's it that is all your graphics options i don't know how you get the uh, little vram indicators to go any higher i mean down here look how, how do you get it all the way over i don't know i don't know how you do that okay so yes no Yes. Okay, that's odd. It really didn't like that, did it? Uh, why didn't it like my resolution? Okay, let's try a low one. Let's go 1440. There we go. Let's do that. Graphics preset low. No. Custom. Okay back by changes yes mm, yeah that worked yes obviously you need your vsr amd as that is uh enabled on your radeon software uh, you know and sample it same for your nvidia guys you have to make sure it's uh, enabled on your, on your driver pack there okay so that worked nicely let's see how this runs okay so how fast do we load into game because we are on a 7200 hard drive we are recording on a samsung ssd using radeon relive software and we're on windows 10 pro also installed on an ssd and intel one okay difficulty no idea how you play this game okay i think i played it briefly on the wii u very briefly I'm not really a sword fighting type player but hey everybody has their own <laughs> okay so we're loading in can we cut this look at the oldie worldy tv picture there with the grain on it no option to cut the grain off at the start straight into the action I immediately think that looks like an Xbox 360 PS3 game showing its age how do we play this then what do we do well at 14.40 we don't see a problem yeah that's smooth enough let's enable an overlay for you guys 60 frames per second no real problem very locked at 60 and it's not using much normal RAM either. Okay. Easy game to run. Probably why it defaults to 4K for myself. Very easy game to run. Good port on a, an old game. Easy. So if you guys are running a 2GB VRAM card, you can run this guy maxed out easily. Oh, 
I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just button mashing. Okay, B is kick. Really should have read those menus a bit. Is this the one where you, you go through a city on a on a jet fighter? I've seen that one. That looked pretty good. I think that was on the Wii U. I saw that. It's Bayonetta 2, though, isn't there? Like I say, I'm not. I don't keep up with the series very well. I do remember the jet fighter footage. Okay. Yeah, we're sticking to 60. Very much. Nice. Quite a few bad PC ports lately. It's nice to see one that uh, runs alright. I mean, look at Lego City. We patched it now, but he when that come out. Oh dear. That was not good. Steam reviews are crushing it. Trouble is, when they release a game that's broken, it's already too late. You know, the people have got the word out, sort of thing. Oh, it's better to kick than it is to shoot. Okay, how do we how do we go on controller on mouse keyboard? Was wrong controller, so I put that down. Let's swap straight over. Oh yeah, that's, actually I think that's better. It's very responsive on the keyboard mouse. Yeah, no problem here, guys. Okay, can we adjust settings while in game? Close the pause menu and return to the game. Oh. I don't think we can. Ooh. Okay, let me just uh, wait for that to, to load and we'll exit out. And see what VRAM it and what it looks like on the lower settings, say a 1080 medium, for example. Mm. Is this a loading? This is loading, isn't it? Yeah, I can't do anything. Cutscene. Cutscene's got some serious screen tear. It's definitely showing its age in these cutscenes. Still, graphics don't make a great game, do they? They just help immerse you further into the game. Some great games have not had the best graphics in the world. And I know for anybody who likes this uh, sort of game, this is one of the, the top ones, as it were. Save. Yes, let's save. Create new save. Yes. Excellent. Right, now let's try those medium 1080p settings. Okay, so we've, we've set it down to medium. There's your medium one look. Yeah. And we're on, oh, come here, cracky. Where are we? Graphics. 1080p, medium. Yeah, it's dropped it down to trilinear. V-Sync off. See how it copes. It defaults to HDR on again. I really don't know why that's the case. I do have this graphics card plugged into a large screen TV as well. But that particular large screen TV isn't a HDR TV. So I'm not really sure if that might be a little tiny bug. Um, it will be interesting to see this game in HDR, so at some point I'm going to have to go and plug it into, um, I've got a large HDR Samsung set that I can plug this in to try it out, so I'll try and capture some footage of that, because uh, the amount of PC games that support a HDR does need to increase, let's face it. So, how does this play? Let's have a look. Uh, continue. Yeah. Doesn't look much difference to me. Slow mo. Screen tear, real bad.
okay so no problems there let's just quickly switch it up oops options and go one more let's put it back to that 4k yeah graphics all the way up didn't seem to like this the first time did it and um, we'll put it on high quality again HDR back on look see HDR on must be a little bug because it's, it's sensing something that's not there we will put uh, VSync back on for this VRAM usage wow it doesn't use any it, it's ridiculous look how tiny that is this is good okay so save changes yes ah we seem to be working excellent however my display text for my msi readout there is going rather small 60 frames per second yeah look, looks looks it no problems still 60 frames per second yeah it's popping between 59.9 and 60.1 as you would expect you know keep saying I'll invest in a free sync monitor but never seem to get around to it I would imagine there's some more challenging areas than this graphically I don't know why I keep thinking of Sonic the Hedgehog with all these rings floating around. Oh well. I'll probably end up giving this a go actually. It doesn't play too badly at all. I can see why uh, there's such a draw to it. I just need to get a lot better. Yep, yeah, well, I would say guys, that pretty much concludes our, uh, our little video there showing you the options and settings and how it runs as like when i started this video this game will run on a toaster very very easily well for the test purposes here just like all my other videos up to date it is on an 8350 amd fx processor running at 4.2 i have some 16 gigabytes of ddr3 ram running at 1833 and the graphics card is an r9 290x running at standard clocks and like I said earlier, this game is installed on a 7200 hard drive, not an SSD. I really don't think it needs one. It loads quickly. You know, it doesn't have a lot to load. It runs well. But yeah. If this video was any use at all to you, please click like. Think about subscribing. Uh, try and cover pretty much every major release there is. And thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.